So welcome everybody to the Aries solar eclipse distant Reiki share. I want to let you all know that it's perfectly fine to come and go as you need. You can leave early if you need to. I will be posting the recordings on my YouTube channel, hopefully later today, technology and everything allowing that. So that's Taylor Norris Reiki. The recordings will be there for you to revisit as well. I am also offering one-on-one -on -one readings in galactic astrology, a whole variety of different astrology readings, as well as Reiki sessions. So if you've been thinking about getting a reading done or having a session, definitely check those out on my website, taylornorrisreiki.com. I have a few more openings at the time of this recording for April, so that's open and available to you if you feel called. On April 20th, I am so excited about a class I'm teaching, and it is combining galactic astrology teachings and wisdom with a Reiki healing journey, and it is on the upcoming Jupiter-Uranus conjunction in Taurus, which is in addition to this eclipse, one of definitely one of the biggest energies of this month, one of the biggest transits of this year. And I made a video diving into the conjunction and a little bit more about that class. So if you're interested in learning more about that class, definitely check out that video on my YouTube channel. And in the class, it will include two charts selected amongst the students to be examined in the class for looking at the relationship between the natal Jupiter and Uranus in your natal chart to more deeply understand your Jupiter and Uranus and their aspect to one another. And everybody who's a part of this class also receives a personalized PDF that will show you exactly where this conjunction is occurring in your natal astrology chart and what it means for you by the house placement. So showing you where this big moment of awakening and quantum leap in consciousness, radical shifts and changes is taking place, what area of your life may be reflecting that quantum leap in consciousness. So that's open to everybody all levels, astrology, and Reiki experience. I'm also hosting another Reiki share. These are every single new moon. So the next Reiki share will be for the Taurus new moon on May 6th. So you can learn about all of these things I mentioned and more at my website, taylornorrisreiki.com. What time is the class? That is a great question. So that's on April 20th. It is at 8 a.m. Hawaii time to 11 a.m. Hawaii time. So you'll want to convert that to your time zones to find out. It's a live class online Zoom like this, and it will be recorded. So even if that timing does not work for you and you're not available to be present, you will receive the recordings for the entire class and be included in the circle. It's just one slide, but as you can see, I took advantage of most of the space here, <laughs> as is my tendency. There's just so much happening, y'all. And that was really coming through in the journey, too. It was I thought it was just going to be Sun, Moon, Chiron, Mars, Saturn, but it was like all the planets were there. And that's because all the planets are here, <laughs> and they're all talking. And most of them are in the signs of Pisces, Aries, and Taurus this month. So if you have any natal planets in Pisces, Aries, and Taurus, these are going to be lit up this month. And those houses in your astrological chart will be receiving a lot of attention and focus. So because the planets are really clustered together in just a few signs, we see the predominant aspect is actually the conjunction. There are many conjunctions occurring. And this occurs when the planets are zero degrees apart from one another. So their energy is compressed. 
those psycho-spiritual functions represented by the planets are being merged within you. So we can see there is Mars conjunct Saturn, Sun conjunct Mercury, Mercury conjunct Chiron, Venus conjunct the North Node, Mercury conjunct Venus, and this is all really leading up to the major conjunction of April, which is Jupiter conjunct Uranus. And so what does this mean? So many conjunctions. This is a real blessing and opportunity to experience greater wholeness, greater coherence, greater clarity as well as Mercury is retrograde all month long almost until April 25th and then at the end of April it, it will be retracing its steps as it moves forward through its shadow period in other words territory that it's already covered so Mercury is making these conjunctions going backwards apparently from our perspective on earth Mercury is not really going backwards the planets don't move backwards during retrogrades it only appears to be so from our perspective on earth so Mercury is making all of these conjunctions going backwards and I, this feels like a great opportunity for clarity for mental reprogramming mental decluttering, releasing a lot of limiting beliefs, stories we've been telling ourselves, stories we've been receiving from others, and really trusting our own inner guidance. Aries, this is occurring in Aries. So what's true for you is ultimately what's important and what feels true in your body as well, Aries instinctively Aries and not getting caught up in any kind of fear stories and taking opportunities to be in the frequency of courage which is really what Aries is about also and what this huge new beginning being orchestrated and reflected by the Aries solar eclipse we're having this chance to be courageous. Like now's the time you've been trained. Okay, you're a light bringer, you're a light bearer, you're a light worker. You're here on planet Earth right now where you need to be. And so being courageous, like you are needed here right now. Your light, your gifts, your talents, your abilities, your contribution Simply the frequency you hold to do not underestimate the power of the frequency you hold in anchoring the higher frequencies within your physical body. And what a gift that is to the earth, the environment, other people, communities, and so on as we make this huge shift because that energy is really building to this Jupiter Uranus conjunction which is an enormous shift so there's a lot of emphasis on this wholeness and this integration and like different parts of yourself talking to one another and being heard and being listened to and being valued as well being reprogrammed being valued and being healed because Chiron is also so prominent within this solar eclipse and definitely this month. Mars conjunct Saturn shortly, you know, just in a couple of days is the gas Mars hitting the brake Saturn. So <laughs> inviting in the higher frequencies of that, if you need to pause, if you need to, you know, check back in with yourself, if, if it feels like things come to a stop, know that this is okay. You're not doing anything wrong. Okay, it's a it's a good time to pause and reorganize and be motivated forward in a new embodied self-disciplined cycle going ahead, thinking for the long-term goals, planning for the long term. This is a wonderful time to be orienting and directing your energy 
with the longer term goals and vision. Sun with Mercury, Mercury with Chiron in the following days. This is speaking to that mental reprogramming I was talking about healing, mental transformation. This is also like getting more in touch with our our channeling gifts, our higher guidance messages as well. And this can be healing wounds with siblings also. Siblings in this lifetime, other lifetime siblings we've lost and a real, real deep healing of that occurring within all timelines and all versions of self. These two conjunctions here I find very beautiful. April 17th and 18th, Venus with the North Node of the Moon. This is like opening the divine feminine heart for our highest soul growth. So receiving the highest soul growth here, valuing your soul growth above all else and being receptive to what are those next steps that need to be taken and what needs to be valued is yourself <laughs> more your gifts and your being and taking really good care of yourself as well mercury conjunct venus is again highlighting that divine feminine energy and valuing yourself more, valuing who you truly are and taking some time and, and real moments here to tune in for what's best for you, knowing yourself more deeply. On April 19th, there's a change in the energy with the sun entering Taurus. So it officially starts Taurus season. And this continues that Venus ruled cycle of morph the divine feminine engaging with the senses slowing down thinking about embodiment taking care of yourself tending to your health and the frequencies of beauty of sensuality of delight of enjoyment of pleasure enjoying the sweetness of life and really grounding <laughs> this message could not be more clear. The sun entering Taurus grounding because friends, we are about to take off. <laughs> we're about to take off in the gravity controlled situation that is the, the Jupiter Uranus conjunction in Taurus on April 20th, which I am teaching the class on because this is so huge. And I have like a kindergarten teacher, you know, the stars here matching the star for this is the astrological chart I have up here for the Jupiter Uranus conjunction, April 20th. And as I said, I, I made a separate video about this where I talk a little bit about its significance. You can see here, this is from galacticastrochart.com. It shows the planets here in the middle. These are all the houses, which will be different depending on where you are in the world. I drew this chart up for where I am in Hawaii. And it also shows the conjunct alignments to the various planets and points. And I've circled in the chart here where you can see Jupiter and Uranus together at 21 degrees and 48, 49 minutes of Taurus. So you want to look in your natal chart if you know how to do that for do you have anything at 21, 22 degrees of Taurus? Because that is about to get very supercharged and activated for sure. But this is really a, a big breakthrough. You know, this is galactic contact. This is innovation. This is enlightenment. This is spiritual awakening. This is like your next level of awakening and alignment on your spiritual path and really expanding out into what is possible, expanding into community frequencies as well with Uranus, new paradigm oriented community experiences. So there's a lot of galactic support definitely in the Jupiter Uranus conjunction and I will be sharing a Reiki journey with some of that galactic support in my class, but definitely check out that other video I recorded on this conjunction because it's exciting. It really is what we are in store for the next 
14 year cycle, essentially 13 to 14 year cycle. These two planets only conjunct every 13, 14 years. Then we have, this is so powerful because the next two aspects after Jupiter-Uranus conjunction is Venus conjunct Chiron, more of the divine feminine healing, healing our sense of self-worth, healing with women, healing with feminine relationships, healing our ability to receive as well. Then we have the sun squaring Pluto, and this is a powerful day of transformation, the sun in Taurus squaring Pluto in Aquarius. This is a moment now of getting ideas about actions that need to be taken. This is what the square is about. It's creating tension where that's motivating actions that need to be taken and or a shift in your thinking, a shift in consciousness that is ultimately more empowering Pluto within the new earth and the new paradigm and the new consciousness that's being born. This huge shift that we are taking that is taking place now and that we are each agents and vessels and vehicles of. And with the sun in Taurus, like in a very grounded, practical, tangible, embodied ways. So this could be a very physically activating aspect here on the 21st. All month long, I definitely advise having your sleepy time tea on hand you know, really those relaxing practices, Reiki, stress reduction, time in nature, self-care, good diet, adequate movement, all the different things you set up for yourself to really support yourself. Be doing that, be doing all of that and making time and space for all of that as much as possible. April 23rd, there is a full moon at four degrees and 17 minutes of Scorpio. I will do a separate, I already recorded a separate video about that, but I'll be sharing that actually later this week. And that is a super powerful full moon aligned to Shapley Attractor, which is a huge black hole cosmic anomaly, like source creator of the known universe. So very powerful complement um, to this Aries solar eclipse. And with that full moon, it's like we we kind of finish out eclipse season because we had the lunar eclipse in Libra and the solar eclipse in Aries. And that's kind of the brackets of the eclipse season with the full moon in Scorpio. And then we'll have the new moon in Taurus, May 6th. That's like starting a new lunar cycle. So it's interesting to see that we get this huge pulse now at the Aries solar eclipse. And we have this huge, hugely powerful full moon in Scorpio um, later this month after this Jupiter-Uranus conjunction again underlining that self-care, that need for self-care. This is also very like Aries, Taurus, healthy, soul-centered attention and intention and mindfulness around your body and your energy levels and being with the earth and with nature as much as possible too. But this is a huge influx of galactic energy, cosmic intelligence and really receiving additional powerful receiving and transformation at the time of the full moon. So we are very supported to individuate, to know ourselves, express ourselves directly, simply and clearly, Aries, embody all of ourselves fully aligned with the love of the universe, the earth, creation, and all that is. So this is what I would like to share about April energies leading up to this extraordinary full moon that we have in just a couple weeks. Yes, so many exciting things. I love seeing your chats. If we have the same conjunctions in our birth chart, but in different signs, is that relevant? Wow. Yeah, it's all relevant because all the transiting energies are awakening 
awakening your natal placements, awakening the wiring within your natal astrology chart. And this is like how I like to work with astrology too. It's like just the the natal chart is like your song, that blueprint. You can play the song and the frequency of that blueprint higher and higher and with greater harmony, ease and flow in more and more beautiful manifestations. It's about elevating the frequency of that natal blueprint. And that's what these transits, they're like all set up. It's all sacred divine order. Like every transit, every planet, every aspect, it's all assisting our growth as individuals in our growth as a collective. It could not be more organized, well-planned and you know, divinely orchestrated and executed. It is just stunning to watch these transits and how they activate and awaken us in each unique complementary ways. Because each of our soul paths and growth and natal blueprints are all needed. They all fit together and create this, this greater music and this greater harmony that is the the collective of humanity and the collective of creation.